Welcome to a video on ink. In this video, I'm going to talk about knots and diverting. So ink is a narrative scripting language. It's used to create branching narrative interactive stories. Part of that is dividing up a story into different parts. Each part is something called a knot. So ink uses the metaphor of threads, all of these different pieces coming together. The parts at which the threads collide and are tied together are a knot. Just like in real life, a knot is something that appears within an ink story and serves as a nexus point, this coming together point within a story. So knots are created using two equal signs, the name of the knot, and then two more equal signs. Notice, though, that a knot cannot stand alone. And in fact, I've got an error here right off the bat. It shows me over here, expected at least one line within the knot, but saw end of line. And of course, this is going to tell me the same thing right here. So a knot is, each knot is, that is, <laughs> each knot is a separate part of the story. They're not connected unless the author makes them connected. So in this part right here, it says, hey, you have a knot, but there's nothing going on. That doesn't make sense. You've got an error somehow. So now I've got some text right here within the knot. And I'll put some space up here at the top. But I've also got an interesting warning. It says, hey, this is an apparently loose end where the flow runs out. So what this is telling me, it says, hey, you have a, a separate island. You have a separate part of the story that doesn't make any sense. What would you be doing with just a separate part sitting around the story? You should do something with it. So if we create, create knots using two equal signs in front and two equal signs in back to create the name of the knot, and I'll pause here and say that in ink, knot names have special rules. So the rules are you can use letters and numbers and the underscore, but you cannot use any other special symbols other than the underscore and especially not spaces. Spaces are not allowed in the names of knots. So letters, numbers, so uppercase, lowercase uh, letters. We can have numbers in here if we want, but we can't have spaces. And the only special character we can use is the underscore. So I have example right here, and it said, hey, you have a loose end. So again, thinking about this metaphor of these threads coming together and the point of connection where they all sort of converge, this nexus point, the point where they come together, is a knot within ink. So it's, hey, you have a knot and you're, you're not doing anything with it, is what this warning is telling me. In order to access a knot, we use something called a divert. This is, again, another use of special symbols with an ink, special keywords, coming back to that concept, that says, hey, go to this place. So we create a divert with an ink using the minus sign, and then the greater than sign, and then the name of some knot within the story. In this case, I can start typing example and it gives me here and it says hey this is a divert target something you can divert to and if i press enter it'll send me straight to that it says okay now the very first thing that happens line one is you're diverting to example so it's jumping to this part in the story and then it's coming down here to line four and then it's saying hey there's nothing else here i'm really confused well, each knot is a separate location within the story. However, there is two special knots that exist outside of any other knots and come part of every story. And in fact, it's telling us right over here, line four, ran out of content. Do you need a done or end? Most of the time, we probably want an end. And end, all capital letters, E-N-D, means the story is ending. There is no more content as part of this branch. So if I divert, again, minus sign, greater than sign to create a little arrow, and E-N-D, it says, hey, you've got it. Notice that it's showing this text right here. The very first thing that happens from the top of this code, line one, to the bottom of this code on line five, is the very first thing that's happening. It's diverting to the not example. This is example right here existing on line three. So it's jumping to this part of the story. 
then it says this is some tax, which it's showing right here. And then it's diverting to that special knot, end, E, N, D, all uppercase. And it's saying, okay, that's the end of the story. Notice, in fact, end of story over here. So this is the end of the story. This is how we get to this point right here. So the very first thing that's happening is we're diverting over to that. I can add more knots to this story. Notice I did the same thing I did for an example right here. I've got my knot, two equal signs in front, two equal signs in back. I'm not breaking any of the naming rules. So I'm using letters, numbers, the underscore, but no other special characters and especially not spaces. So down here, seven looks, uh, looks okay. But it says, hey, you got a loose end again. You got nothing going on. So the other rule of a knot, when we create different parts of a story, is that the parts have to connect the things. They have to also connect. So we connect to the knots and the knots connect to other things. Just like in a rope. So if you had lengths of rope and we knotted them together, the ropes would keep going. They don't end where the knots are, they keep going. So this is what it's telling you. It's saying, hey, I expected to keep going and there's, there's nothing to keep going here. So we have the option on line nine, just like I had on line five, if I wanted to, I could end here. And in fact, I'll go ahead and do that. So we'll create a divert, minus sign, greater than sign to create that little arrow in E N D, all lowercase or all uppercase that is E N D, story ends. Notice though that I'm not accessing the not another. I can access the not example starting on line one, I diverted to that knot on line three. I showed its text and then hit line five and the story ended. So how do I get to the knot another? Well, we have two choices. So I can either change line one to divert to the knot another, or I can restore example here. I can divert inside of example to another, if I spell it correctly here. So we have another. So notice we are diverting line one to the not example, which starts on line three, shows its text, then it encounters another divert to the not another, jumps to line seven, shows its text, and then encounters the divert to the special not end, E, N, D, all uppercase, and the story ends. So we can use diverts to navigate to different parts of the story, and we can create multiple knots in a story. Knots, in fact, are incredibly useful to divide up a story again into different parts. I keep using this word parts because it could be anything. So if we were writing maybe a mystery story, knots could be the people we go talk to to maybe solve this mystery, maybe a murder mystery or something else. In another example, all of these knots could be locations in a castle, maybe. Maybe each one is something like the dungeon or the attic or the weapons room or the armory or something else. Locations we go to do different things. So again, they could be locations. They could be people. They could also be time. If we want to divide up this into, okay, this is the beginning of the story. This is the middle part of the story. This is the end of the story chronologically like that and allow a user to jump between parts of a story like a chapter is in a book. They could also be pages. For example, a choose your own adventure book says go to page or go to other pages. We could divide this up in the same way. We could also just simply have time periods. Maybe it's a time travel story. So maybe you're traveling between 1905, 2005, and 3005. So each knot then could be a time. So again, parts of a story is a good general term for any of these different ways to divide up a story. Each of which, though, in ink, need to be diverted to, because a knot doesn't stand alone. Again, like we're tying rope, the rope continues. So ink will say, hey, this is an error if you don't have something within that knot, and will give you a warning if it can't quite figure out where to go next, because again, the ropes continue. We tie the knots together in a knot, and then the ropes continue. So in the case of this, then, we diverted, again, starting at line one to line, to line three. 
then on line five, jump to line seven, and then finally end the story on line nine. So this has been a review of how to create knots, two equal signs in front, two equal signs in back, again, obeying the rules of creating a knot, which have some special rules, which are any letters, so uppercase and lowercase, numbers, the underscore, but no spaces and no other special characters. And we can create knots as part of a story and use diverts to move between them within ink itself.